Hello all and welcome back to another wonderful video. Today I am here on uh, Twitter for some odd reason. Oh wait, I know the reason. The reason is because we're going to be talking about Lords of Ponykeep. Now this is an indie game being developed by one individual, one single person called Azimuth. We're going to be talking about this. I'm going to give you guys all the information that I currently know about this game. It is currently in alpha. It is in very, very early alpha and there is no telling on if it's going to be released in a year, two years, three years it could even be five years from now before it's ever released but hopefully it won't be that long uh, but I just want to point that out because it is in very early alpha and uh, it's something that I think you guys are going to want to keep your eye on because when this does release or when there is some form of beta that eventually comes out or maybe doesn't come out eventually when you guys will be able to play this game it will explode a lot of people are going to be playing it when it does come out and it's it's going to be a huge deal I just I just know it in my head that this is going to be a very very big game uh, but currently it's very early in development so uh, I want to talk about everything that we know today I'm going to be going over their Twitter and their Patreon so let's go ahead and scroll to the top of their Patreon here and talk about their Patreon now you can support them for a dollar a month seven dollars a month or fifteen dollars a month I will leave a link to this Patreon in the description below if you guys want to support them but I do encourage you guys to you know watch the rest of the video or even read through this Patreon yourself before you decide to support their anything like that so they have some some good uh you know perks in here and everything like that you can actually get a small portrait of your pony next to your name and in in the end game credits so you can actually have your name in the credits of the game uh you can actually have a, a statue or a large portrait of your pony somewhere in the game with lore description that'll be awesome uh there's all kinds of interesting things like that that you can that you can uh, get for the, the perks and everything like that. But the perks aren't really what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the game itself, uh, starting with uh, the person behind this, this Azimuth person. They are the guy behind all the art, the music, the code, and the writing of the upcoming indie RPG set in the perpetually moonlit Horse Realms. The Horse Realms is basically the, the location of the game, so to speak. They have been drawing ponies since 2013 and have always tried to mix in their burning passion for world building, forlorn architecture, creature design, and lighthearted weirdness. Uh, the game itself, as you can see from this GIF here and from their Twitter, it has a very nice um, 2D M Paper Mario kind of style, but it's like different from Paper Mario at the same time. It has it has a very unique style to it that like when you look at it, you know this is Lords of Pony Keep and not some other random thing. It has a very unique style to it and that's something that I really love about it. But anyway, back to uh, their Patreon where they explain what their game is. What is Lords of Pony Keep? Well, three years ago Azimuth decided to create the pony game they would like to play. A small open-ended party-based sandbox RPG where you're not the only one who can hire adventurers, raid dungeons, Dungeons and unearth priceless treasures. Every pony in Pony Keep, from riv rival guild masters to hireable adventures and shopkeepers, have their own agenda, daily routine, and social class. And it takes part in tiny dynamic systems where bad reputation, illicit goods, hearsay, and debt can get you exiled to the moon. I feel like the exiled to the moon thing is kind of more of a um a joke and you'll just end up in like some kind of prison or something like that i can't imagine you're actually going to the moon but who knows maybe you would uh but anyway speculation aside let's continue lords of pony keep releases stable and 100 percent free alpha builds every two months for pc and mac version 0.04 came out in february 2021 and i do have confirmation that in uh april of 24th this month on the 24th, they will release version 0.05. Uh, there's going to be some, you know, uh, new features and stuff like that. And they're going to be teasing stuff as usual uh, up until then. But uh, that is something that I want to mention because uh, it's something that, you know, they're talking about in their Discord server. And it just seemed like it made sense to... to to do this uh, because there's going to be some new information coming April 24th. I don't know if I'll make a video on that yet, but it's something I don't want to mention. But anyway, each iteration of Lord of Pony Keep's well-built character creator and demo dungeon have been enriched by the continuous feedback from the game's dedicated community. Uh, there is indeed a very dedicated community here. I am in their Discord server. Uh, there's a lot of people really dedicated to this game and really want to see it pop off and, and go somewhere. Um, and uh, Azimuth says that they're working hard to see the game finished as the fun, aesthetically pleasing game it's meant to be. 
however long it takes. And that th this this little thing right here, as long as it takes, is one of the most in, uh, you know encouraging parts of this entire thing because they're taking their time with this. They they want these you know alpha builds to be 100% you know um, together and not like really broken and really 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 broken obviously they have testers and stuff like that for these alpha builds but they want it to be as complete as possible during each demo and stuff like that and it's just it's just perfect they're taking their time with everything and it really shows because it's a really aesthetically pleasing game here's a look at what their character customization looks like you can choose between different tribes which are things like vespers which are bat ponies kirins earth ponies unicorns pegasi even even uh even alicorns and whatever the the, the hicko thing is i think it's like some kind of sea pony thing i'm not sure but they have all those and then of course they have this huge customization creator here it's actually pretty pretty on par with like Ponytown's customization. Uh, it's hard to say because I don't really have my my own physical hands on, on the character customization and in this gif here they're just smashing the random pony button but I have seen a stream where someone was going through the different tabs and building different characters and stuff like that so, and in that stream it seemed very uh, you know in depth you were able to choose between like two different mains at the same time so you're basically having like a main main if that makes sense and then like a secondary main like on that same main so it adds a lot of extra customization and stuff like that there's all kinds of body patterns that you can add and colors that you can change and all kinds of stuff like that you can even change your weapons and stuff like that as well there's all kinds of um, customization options here that are going to put it on par with Ponytown and because of the aesthetically pleasing um, Paper Mario kind of aesthetic that they got going on it's going to be uh, almost better in, than Ponytown in some ways but uh, moving on uh, they explain why they uh, have this Patreon. Uh, they talk about how they're, you know, this young artist with this ultimate dream of making a living out of this game project that you and the developer will love and enjoy. They want you to fund them because you want to fund them. They, they want to give you a reason to fund them and they want to, you know, be able to, uh, you know, put every dollar that they get essentially into this milestone that will allow them to cover their living costs and basically put 100% of their effort, 100% of their work into the game. And uh, with that, they would most likely be able to release more alphas and maybe continue on and get it out even sooner than, than uh, later. If you see down here at the bottom of their uh, Patreon, they have 77% complete of that goal. If they get 100% of this goal, they will be able to cover their expenses, their living expenses, all that jazz, and be able to focus on Lords of Pony Keep full time. Uh, so uh, that's why I encourage you guys to, uh, you know, become a Patreon supporter for this game, because if they get 100%, then they'll be able to hire some more people to work on the game and be able overall to work on the game full time and get this game out sooner and get this game to an even better state than it already is in. That's what the, the Patreon has and everything like that. And now it is time to uh, talk a little bit about some of my concerns with the game, uh, or at least the, my current concerns with the game. These are things that could very well change at any point, um, but it is something that uh, was pointed out in the, uh, the live stream that I watched. Um, the combat is kind of semi-automated. There is a, a, a stamina system. I don't know how well you can see it because of the, the, the computer's stupid or whatever but uh <laughs> if you see there's like a little bubble here and it has like a, um, a a teardrop looking thing in it that is your stamina every time you attack or whatever you do certain actions and stuff like that your stamina will be depleted if you have stamina and uh, an enemy like this enemy right here comes up on you you will automatically attack that enemy that was what was explained to me in the um, the live stream you automatically attack enemies when they get close to you if you have the stamina for it if you don't then they won't try to attack it and your best bet is to manually try to, to to walk away and leave that automated system really bothers me and i really hope that that is ultimately changed you know in a few alphas or even the alpha that's coming out soon i really hope that's something that changes because it's it, it's it really isn't my favorite kind of gameplay mechanic and it's going to be something that i feel that will personally uh hurt the game for me myself uh maybe some some of you would love this automated system of attacking when they get close to you and maybe it'll be some kind of feature that you'll be able to toggle on or off uh you know later down the line or something uh, so that's kind of one of my main concerns. Another concern that I have is the uh, the movement system. If, if you, I don't know how we can see, but uh, I'm trying to find a GIF here where, where they're like walking or whatever. Um, and some of them aren't playing because internet go burr. Um, but essentially the movement system is not 
the best, or at least it's not the best to me. I don't really like the, the movement system that much. As you can see, there is a mouse here that's moving around. They're, I don't know if they're clicking and holding the mouse button to decide where they go, or if they're clicking and then the pony just walks that way until it gets there and then it just stops. That's another thing that I really hate about um, this game so far in its current state. This is something that I've seen a lot in the um, the stream as well. The, the streamer didn't really mention it all that much, but they did uh, kind of show that that was what was going on, basically. And you could tell that that's how the movement system worked. It was something that I didn't really like, and it's something, again, that's going to bother me a lot if a you know WASD thing isn't eventually added or something like that. And honestly, WASD should just be added... I hope that that's one of the things that's going to happen in the um, the, the, the 0 0.05 alpha coming April 24th. Hopefully that will be uh, a thing that is added then, if not soon after that or something like that. Because a, a proper movement system is something that I really look forward to in games. I really like to be able to move around freely. Um, I really like to be able to attack freely. I want to, like when like for the, the attacking thing, if I'm coming up here and I, I'm trying to be careful, right? I'm trying to be careful about what I'm doing and stuff like that. And then suddenly this little gremlin thing attacks me and I'm attacking it automatically. That really bothers me because maybe I didn't want to attack it. Maybe I wanted to do something specific so that I could one shot it or maybe I'd do something that would do more damage to it or something like that. And then it comes up here and attacks me and I die. Then it's going to feel like I, I, I didn't have a fair chance because it killed me and because I was forced to attack it when I, when it, you know, whereas I could have done a million other things or even chose to do a different attack or something like that. So uh, that is something that I wanted to mention about my concerns. But I think those are things that would very easily, um, you know, be fixed and stuff like that. Something else that slightly concerns me, it's not the biggest concern, but there is things like this, this bat pony here, this Vesper, as they call it. Uh, it has this ability um, of this night vision and some of the other characters have, you know, abilities like teleporting if you're a unicorn or flying if you have wings or this or that if you have this or that i'm really concerned that it's not going to be necessary to have something like night vision or have something like you know teleporting especially when you look at the gif of teleporting um this isn't this isn't the teleporting gif here it is right here you can see that it takes a a rather long time to teleport so that is something that kind of concerns me a little bit i'm concerned that hey if this teleporting thing is going to be a thing maybe cut it down in half i'm just worried about how they're going to go about the special abilities and stuff like that and how they're going to make it fair especially since there's going to be alicorns since alicorns have the horn and the wings will they be able to teleport fly and light up their horn that kind of creates a weird imbalance and that's something that always bothered me about alicorns in video games because there's always a weird thing about it but anyway moving on uh, as I said before there's all kinds of different abilities for different characters and stuff like that but you also have like what seems like an overworld. I'm gonna kind of move more into speculation from this point on, um, but my speculation here is that there is, like I said, this big overworld with this like huge uh, medieval town. Maybe you're in like a castle walls or something like that. And there's all kinds of different shops like this shield place. There's gonna be like, I imagine bars and other stuff like that. Maybe you can even get drunk, who knows? Um, but uh, I imagine there's gonna be like this big, huge town with different NPCs and stuff like that. I imagine that's going to be a um a really fun thing being able to explore the town and then uh you know meet up with like four of your buddies or i guess three of your buddies because i imagine it's gonna be a four-man squad you meet up with a few of your buddies and then you go explore what i'm going to assume is probably a randomly generated dungeon i could be wrong about that and obviously that's not anything confirmed that's my biggest conspiracy theory so to speak that these dungeons are going to be you know randomly generated so they're not never going to be the same um but they'll still have like some of the same mechanics and stuff like that like some of them will have like very similar rooms but it'll be randomly generated and you'll fight like maybe random enemies and stuff like that and maybe the deeper you go in the dungeon maybe the you know obviously harder the the difficulty becomes and stuff like that yeah that pretty much does it that that's kind of my main theory on this is that it's going to be this big you know almost open world but not open world where you get to hang out with some buddies and go into some dungeons together and maybe even a boat maybe maybe even maybe even dance around because i think there is dancing uh emotes somewhere that i saw but uh yeah uh, i can't imagine um what all will be in this game but i can imagine and i am almost certain that there is going to be a huge 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 surge of players on this game as soon as it comes out or as soon as there is a public 
publicly released version of this game. It's one of those things, you know, similar to Ambient White that I think a lot of people need to keep their eye on because this is going to pop off. This is going to be a huge deal when it does finally come out. So, um, yeah, keep an eye on it. Um, you can follow their Twitter. It's right here at Horse Realms, Lords of Pony Keep. Uh, and then, of course, their Patreon. I'll leave a link to their Patreon in the description below. So, uh, yeah, that pretty much does it for the video. I know this video was a little bit longer than you probably expected it to be or wanted it to be. But I wanted to get through all the information and do all of that, you know, stuff all in one place uh, so that you guys can get excited for Lords of Pony Keep like me. But don't get too excited because, like I said before, it is in very, very early alpha. It's just something that I think you guys need to keep an eye on and especially myself i'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on it so uh yeah that's gonna do it for the video i do hope that you enjoyed if you did please do like subscribe share do all of those wonderful things like that because when you do those wonderful things not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this but you also get to become one of yourself and i think we all want that so do those wonderful things and until next time stay wonderful